Hi guys, so a bit of an intense week this week on Match of Snakes. We've actually been involved in the Sesame bushfires that happened about a week ago. Where were we, Steve? Yeah, we were. It's Poor pretty, vegan. <laughs> pretty intense. I actually got really close to our mate's vegan's house. Um, we had to evacuate her animals and they had to evacuate. It was pretty intense and pretty scary. Yeah, it was. And plus, vegan got to help out with a wildlife <laughs> yeah. group, so she helped walk through the bushfire uh, affected areas. She found a few animals. She got some footage of it, so I hope you enjoy this episode and we will take a look at it. Yep. fire raged for days through the dried out Australian bush. Megan took these photos from her backyard. Megan, her family and her family pets were all evacuated. Thankfully the firefighters were able to save every building but the fire still has a devastating effect on all our native wildlife. So Megan set off with an animal rescue team to go out and have a look and try and save what they can. Unfortunately, this is the result of our bushfires in Australia. These native animals lose their homes, lose their food source, and if they do survive the fire, they become easy pickings for different prey, prey animals to feed upon. This little eastern brown snake was found here in the bush, just curled up next to a, next to a stick. He looks like he suffered some trauma along his body, had nowhere to hide. Megan and the team searched for many hours, checking every hollow log and every burrow that they came across. And it wasn't too much longer before they started having some success. We've just finished sweeping a quadrant of bushland after a huge bushfire went through, looking for scorched, burnt, injured or stranded wildlife. Once the, all of their habitat's been burnt, there's no food left for them to, left them to, for them to eat. So we go through, pick them up and try and relocate them close to the area but somewhere that's less touched by the fire. So I'll talk to you a little bit about this cool little guy. This little guy is a yellow faced whip snake and you can probably see why they would be mistaken for a brown snake a lot. These little guys cop it from the shovel in Australian backyards all too many times because people think they're a dangerous snake. Now they are venomous but they only pack a local bite, something painful, really painful locally, but nothing that's going to drop you dead like a brown snake or anything like that. These guys are pretty common throughout Australia. They do have the telltale, telltale little um, yellow marks near the eye and a really large pupil. They're a slender, smaller snake and they, they feed on frogs, other lizards, anything they can get their mouths around really. They're an opportunistic hunter. And we found this Nice little area next to next to the dam. There'll be lots of little froggies. So we'll let him go underneath some shrub here. Nice little bit of camouflage. Got a little man. You can see just how well he fits in with the terrain here. Beautiful little snake. Here's another survivor from the bushfire, a little stone gecko. We found him sheltering under, under a piece of tin. Everything around him was burnt and he found shelter under that piece of tin. Now they are found in dry climates like this. We're just giving him a little bit of a drink. He's, he's really thirsty, a bit dehydrated. We've given him a bit of a drink and he's looking much brighter now. So we're gonna release him under this log here. He's close to the dam again. Um, access to food and water for him. I'll we'll send him on his way, little dude. Okay, little man. Off you go. Whoop. The last rescue of the day was this little Jackie Dragon that had a burnt tail. So off to the vet clinic he went for a tail amputation. Good job, Megan. Thanks for watching another episode of Mates with Snakes. See you next time.